All right, so this is going to be a Costco sale item review of this organic raw kombucha and organic raw kombucha at its finest, okay? So the price, normal price is $11.99. It was $4 off, so basically about $8. All right, so $8 for, uh, what is that, six bottles? Is it six bottles? Yeah, for six bottles, um, plus CRV in California. So that's another 30 cents added on to the price. Okay, anyways, here you can see there is Clear Mind flavor, which is rosemary, mint, sage, green tea. That sounds like it's going to be disgusting to me. <laughs> there's Island Mango, which is passion fruit, ginger, um, green tea. And then there's Super Berry, which is raspberry, blueberry, goji berry, oolong tea. All right, we're going to see how these go. Um, right now, I purchased this August 18th, 2022. Here you can see there's a date on here. I'm assuming this is the best buy date is June 16, 2023. I'm assuming you have to keep this refrigerated. All right, here you can see certified B Corporation. I don't know why they put this on the box, but okay. 614 fluid ounce bottles, 84 fluid ounces total, 2.48 liters. All right, live, uh, live and active cultures, USDA organic. All right, here you can see organic brew doctor kombucha. Discover how good kombucha can be. All right, they have this little thing here, Certified B Corporation. Again, I don't know why they're doing Certified B Corporation. What what does that mean? I don't doesn't mean any. Well, I mean that should <laughs> I should know what that means, but I haven't been studying and doing that type of business stuff in a long time, so I don't remember. All right. Anyways, good for people and uh, raw and probiotic. All right, good for communities. Certified B. Okay, I'm guessing that means it's um, what do you call? Uh, non-profit kind of thing. I'm assuming that's what it is. Good for our planet, carbon neutral. All right. And let me zoom in some more here. Live and active cultures. All right. We already said all this other stuff. Certified kosher, alcohol extracted. So there should be alcohol free. Certified gluten free. All right. Non-GMO. And more of that information there. Same stuff on this side. All right. We got the nutrition facts and everything here. Okay. Same information there. Let's zoom out a little bit. The flash is making it hard to read, so let's turn that off. All right, sorry, the lighting is not too great, but uh, it looks like it's easier than if I have the flash on with the thing. There's no juice in it, as you can see. All right, each bottle, 60 calories, 80 calories, 60 calories, okay? So the mango one, which is probably going to be my favorite, has the most calories. And then you can see it has almost nothing in it. There's carbs in it. All right, again, the one that I like the most is probably going to be the least healthy. And there's also more sugar in it. And, okay, as you can see, there's more added sugars in the uh, mango and super berry ones. All right, there's no proteins. Here you can see the ingredients for each one. There's tea, water, tea, rosemary, peppermint, sage, dandelion root, cane sugar, live kombucha culture, yeast, bacteria, organic. All right. Then you got the mango one, brewed tea, water, green tea, mango puree, cane sugar, passion fruit juice, ginger juice, live kombucha culture, yeast, bacteria, strawberry essence, organic. All right. Then you got the super berry one. Brewed tea, water, currant, oolong tea, elderberry, hibiscus, blueberry, goji berry, strawberry, raspberry, cane sugar, live kombucha culture, yeast bacteria, and also organic. Live and active. Um, keep refrigerated. May foam or burst if unrefrigerated. Okay, so be careful with that. And it has um, less than 0.5% alcohol by volume. Okay, so that means there is some alcohol in here. All right, it's not completely alcohol free. Um, anyways, but only a little using our uh, using our business as a force for good. All right, here you can see our mission at Brew Doctor is to explore tea thoughtfully. Uh, we work to craft quality, tasty tea beverages with thoughtful care for our people, ingredients, and the planet. Transparency and accountability are the bedrock of our organization. We want to use our business as a force for good, striving to continuously improve as we foster an open and honest relationship with our customers. You can go to this QR code to learn more. And then here you can see how we source. Give me a second. Everyone's talking about Okay, so How We Source Brew Doctor was founded as a neighborhood tea shop. We re relied on fellow small businesses, local partners, and community support to grow our effort. As we've scaled, we've continued to place importance on using local relationships to source our tea and herbs, as well as our bottle and other packaging. All right, footprint. From glass we source to the utilities we run, our brewery emissions are all around us. Uh, what? Oh, emissions are all around us. Our first priority is reducing emissions coming from our facilities and 
delivery vehicles and where emissions are inevitable, we purchase carbon offsets to put those emissions back in the ground. All right. And here you go. Our community, we partner with 1% uh, f- um, for the planet to support environmentally driven nonprofits. We establish local love, a paid day off program for our employees to volunteer at an organization of their choice. We also donate 1% of the revenue uh, from our uplift products to organizations focus on uh, racial justice. All right. So we went through all of that. Let's go ahead and now open this up. So they actually put tape on here. So this is kind of going to be tough to open. Let's see if I can kind of open it with this popsicle stick. I'm going to just do that. There we go. And there we go. Okay. They got this guy here. Let's peel this off. And this guy says, you've got, you've got options, which is nice. Okay. So you got options. The option is you got three drinks, but you don't really have those options because you either you drink them or you throw them in the garbage if you don't like them, or I guess you can return them. Anyways, here we go. Let's go ahead and open this up. You can see you got two of each flavor like this. So we're going to get one of each out. I'm pretty sure these are going to be bottled for, re- uh, labeled for resale, but let's go ahead and take a look. Um, yep, they got the barcode and everything. They are uh, labeled for resale. So if you have a store, you can actually put these in your shop. You can see how they write this. You can see this is more herbal, not really fruity, spicy, or floral, which means I'm probably not going to like this, but we'll see. Okay, you can read all of that on your own. You can see clear mind, rosemary, mint, tea. Okay, here's the ingredients again. All right, and oh, the lid. Okay, and these are like twist lids. Okay, then we got the super berry, and you can see. Okay, and oh, I forgot. On the bottom, they have the expiration dates here as well. So you can see June 16, 2023. This one, June 16, 2023. And this one also, June 16, 2023. Come on, focus. Focus. There you go. (laughs) So they expire on the same date. But again, they're all labeled for individual sale, so... If you want, and here you can say it may burst if unrefrigerated, so make sure to keep it refrigerated. And this one is more fruity, a little floral, okay. Um, A light and fruity kombucha featuring a delightful blend of sweet and tart berries, hibiscus, and oolong tea, right? You can read all of this again. Okay, then the island mango one, all right. They're all labeled for individual sale, as you can see. All right, same stuff here. This one, very fruity, a little spicy, a little floral. So this is probably going to be my favorite because I like fruit-flavored stuff. Okay, tropical treat for any time of the year featuring mango, passion fruit, and a touch of Peruvian ginger juice. Interesting, okay. Opened first tea house over 15 years ago. And, yep. Okay, so we're going to close this up. I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to put these bottles here for... I don't know if that's better. Maybe I'll leave it, leave them down here. I don't know. Anyways, we're going to try them in order of probably what I'm going to prefer or not prefer. So what I'm going to try is I'm going to try this one first because I'm probably not going to like this one. And I don't know if you're supposed to kind of sift it around. Oh, also the bottom of the bottle has that on the bottom. Brew Doctor. Okay. So we're going to carefully open this up. I hope it's not going to explode and leak everywhere. I'm going to slowly open it. And get ready to close it up if I need to. Okay, slowly let the gas out. I see it bubbling up. Okay, there we go. Let's open that. You can see it's all foamy. All right, and inside the lid, it has something in there. Ah, fabulous. All right, let's go ahead and give this a taste. Whoa. I don't know. That tastes alcoholic to me. I don't really like alcohol. Um, But I definitely taste like the rosemary mint flavor. So yeah, tastes like what what the ingredients are. Um, Personally, I don't really like those flavors. But um, yeah, it tastes like medicine to me. But if you like that, go for it. You'll probably probably like this. It, It does taste a lot like what it's saying, rosemary mint and sage. All right, now we got the super berry one. Let's go ahead and see what this one tastes like. 
Let's go ahead and open it up. Okay, pop that open. The lid just falls down like that. Okay, let's go ahead and give this a try. Hmm. Very light, not super sweet. Maybe I should cleanse my palate or something, but this, after drinking this one too, has like no flavor, <laughs> barely, not much flavor to me. This one still has that rosemary mint flavor. This one, hmm. Mm. doesn't have much flavor. I do taste some berries and stuff, but the flavor is very light. I mean, I don't know if this is making my taste buds broken, but the flavor of this one's very, very light. All right, let's go ahead and try the Island Mango. I'm hoping I like this one. I think my favorite kombucha I've tried, usually I don't like kombucha, but the favorite, the one I liked, I think it was the Hum, H-U-M-M -M one. That one was pretty good. I think it was a mango something, pineapple maybe. Mmm. Okay, this one's not bad. Definitely of the three, this is my favorite. I definitely taste mango in here. Hmm. I'm going to say, though, I'd rather drink other stuff, but if I were to drink these things, like kombucha, I would drink this one. I think I did like the hum one better than this, but uh, if you like kombucha, because I don't drink kombucha for the kombucha flavor, <laughs> if you like kombucha for the kombucha flavor, I mean, everybody's tastes differ, maybe you'll like it better than me, but again, usually I don't like kombucha, so that's why I like this one. It has more sugar and stuff. It tastes tastes better um, but again um, yeah I too I do taste mango in here not bad mango passion fruit ginger green tea but again um, because I don't really like kombucha this is more just kind of to taste it and kind of let you guys know what I think um, but personally uh, not something I would really buy again but again, everybody's different. Your tastes differ from mine. So if you like kombucha, give these a try. Maybe you'll like them, maybe you won't. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.